wanted to tell you that I ended up dyeing my Bellamy hair extensions. I had a lot of requests uh, to just do a video on how I did that, so I recorded it really quickly for you guys, and I hope that this kind of helps you out. This technique can work for any hair extensions, and it might not be the most efficient way of doing it, so if you guys know of any other hair dyeing tutorials that I can look at, then go ahead and tell me about them in the comments bar, but other than that, I guess I will just get to the video. Hopefully, what I filmed works out. I haven't really looked over the footage, so yeah. I dyed my Bellamy's, and if you want to see how I did that, then just keep watching the video. Bye, guys. Taking this dye from Sally Beauty Supply, I am going to mix a level 10 developer with the Demi Permanent Hair Color that I use in my hair, and the color's 3N. So I'm gonna need a bowl, some gloves, a spatula to stir the dye with, and a brush to actually apply the dye to my hair extensions. And I'm gonna start out by just squeezing everything in this tube into the bowl. I'm going to take equal parts of my developer and put in the bowl as well. So I'm just going to do an even amount. And this is what I do for my natural hair as well. Next, I'm going to take my spatula and just mix it all together. light brown the color of these extensions are so I'm gonna lay them out flat and then just begin applying the dye and I think the extensions are a really beautiful color but my hair just dyed the color that I'm trying to get them so I need to dye them a tad bit darker so I'm just gonna start from the clip and go to the tip of the hair and I make sure to do even coating After that, I'm going to flip over the extension and go down the other side with the hair dye. Next, I just run my fingers through it a few times and make sure that the dye is completely through all of the hair. I'm going to leave this hair dye on for about 30 minutes. Now it's time to wash out the dye. I used cool water and just washed out all of the dye until the extensions ran, the water ran clear. And I did use a color protecting shampoo and I'm just going to rub all of that in and then rinse that out as well. And I did take a hair tie and tie all the extensions together so that way I could kill it all at once and I don't have to do each individual weft of hair. You're obviously going to want to condition your hair as well, so I'm using this L'Oreal Total Repair 5, and I'm putting that on the extensions, and then I let them set for about five minutes, and this stuff works wonders, but the hair dye that I used also is really not that bad on your hair, and I know that's weird to say, but after I dye my real hair, it literally feels like I got a deep conditioning treatment, and I do have a tutorial on that as well that I'll have linked in the bottom bar for you guys. So I'm going to rinse that out and then just hang the extensions to dry, and then once they're dry, you guys will see the end result. 